What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Amalgam Show. One of your hosts, Keenan Johnson, alongside Ding. That's me. That's him, and that's all there is. Yeah. There isn't any more. Yeah. Um, do you remember what the Amalgam Show is about? The Amalgam Show is a place where we get together and we talk about the nerdy things and pop culture things that we care about. And guess which nerdy topic we're talking about today? Oh, that'd be me. It's D- D- Dean. Yeah. He's just, nerd. Just me. Sometimes part-time yeah. nerd. Part-time. Part-time <laughs> nerd. Full-time. They get all the benefits. <laughs> full-time uh, person. So, there's that. Aren't we all? Hmm. <sighs> now there's some housekeeping. Oh, yeah. Let's do that one. <laughs> Be sure to check out Malcolm's Game Slab, where Shannon and I talk about um, video games and the industry in general. Uh, if you have any questions for the show, please comment below or email us at malcolmshowgmail.com. If you enjoy this, please leave a like and subscribe and support us on Patreon at patreon.com slash malcolmshow, where you can listen to our new show, a Patreon exclusive called Amalgam Archaeology, where we go back in time and discuss all the cool series that we like in great depth. This one we just did on Final Fantasy 1 through 3. There you go. And we talk a lot about some, like, just nerd shit. Just like, you like Final Fantasy? You like Dungeons and Dragons? Boom, they're the same game. <laughs> Boom. That's it. Um, yeah. You know what's nice? Being, like, just two people. Get through the housekeeping really quickly. Yeah. <laughs> I was just thinking, I was like... It's not just an echo of housekeeping for yeah. 20 minutes. I was just thinking, it's like, it's... That was a lot quicker than it usually is. Yeah, but... Shannon, like, blaze through. I'm like, oh... We're here already. <laughs> uh, so what have you been up to lately? <coughs> Fuck all. Fuck all? Yeah. yeah. Um, no, what have I been doing? I don't know. Started my new job. How's that going for you? I mean, the, the schedule's nice. The Monday to Friday, uh, 9 to 5.30. Sometimes early knockoff. Um, depending on how well we do, which is no, fun. There's nothing better than an early knockoff. Just yeah, period. Whether, whatever that is. Honestly. On a Friday, it's so good. Just earlier beers. Um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, other than that, um, drank a bit yesterday, gonna drink again tonight. Yeah, we are. Yeah, it's basically it. Okay, drink and work. Yeah, drink you and work. You sound like a real 30 year old man. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm Maybe. so fucking tired today. I literally am running on five hours sleep, plus I'm hungover from yesterday. Oh, fuck. So it's just like. Why did you agree to help move? Because That's I thought nice I'd be able to do it. To be fair, I didn't show up till two, and they'd already moved most of the stuff. This is, um, yeah, I helped, um, or I agreed to help one of my mates move. Um, so did Nathaniel. But, um, yeah, since I was hungover and dead, I didn't get home till 12 o'clock. And didn't get to theirs until two. So, yeah. Still helps with the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> that counts, doesn't it? And I bought yeah. everyone pizza, so that, yeah. Sometimes just being the sugar daddy helps. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, no. <laughs> um, yeah, it's pretty good. Cool. What about yourself? I moved. No. Yeah. 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 That I officially unpacked everything. Nice. Feels good. Yeah. The big fuck off bar. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Big bar. Got big it. Big bar. Yeah, it's just it's good to be in like a really <coughs> nice place in terms of like it just big probably the biggest place I've lived in besides Roma which was still a very small place mm. um, well, with four people yeah it was a small place yeah, yeah. backyard is good though mm. I'm just having a backyard so you have one for the new no, place no I don't oh, okay. I just want a backyard Fair. I want a dog I've been thinking a lot about having a dog like not having getting a dog <laughs> yeah um, but fuck they're expensive well that's yeah eventually like once I can comfortably afford it I want to get a, a Shiba Inu my go-to so i'll get a shiba inu while i'm like young and like i don't know just kind of doing life yeah. and then when i get a family and the shiba will be dead i'd say uh I'll, I'll get a husky that'll be my go-to after that because huskies are good family dogs so they are as long as you yeah. exercise them sometimes yeah yeah exercise keep them keep them cold but they just all bother with work yeah that'll be fine that's what the kids are for i guess so. Fine. Yeah, I also hundred percented all of Assassin's Creed, including DLC. Jesus I'm Christ! Fucking, and I yeah, don't recommend anyone do that. But there's some good stuff. Like there's some like weird um, stuff doing the what do you call it? Personalization stuff. 
Oh, like yeah. one of the things they talk about, like they do, like what is reality, blah blah blah. And you're like, okay. And there was like one part where like you're using an anime to relive history. What if you could change history? I'm like what? Are we get, we're gonna start doing that? And then I was thinking, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, you have choices, you have dialogue choices and stuff like that, which changes like small histories. And like I wonder if that's what they were hinting towards. Because you can't change literal history, but that's what the first civilization was <coughs> implying. Right. So I'm like. I'll see where this fucking bananas series see, takes us. That's here. that's what I liked about Assassin's Creed. Like those those things that happened in the past that were bad, they still happened. Yeah. Like you, no matter what your assassin character does, yeah, it's you still gonna happen. Yeah. You can't change it. So I don't know. I, yeah. We've said it before. Assassin's Creed's going to shit. It's not it's shit. Fun, it's, it's fun to play. Yeah. Like it's a good game, but the story is. The just, narr- I think yeah. It's losing itself. I feel yeah, just like stop on the narrative. Like, yeah. Just play the game for the yeah. game, and then pretty much if it gets better, it gets better. If it get, I don't think it's gonna get worse. <laughs> um, I think it just needs to end. They need to come up with an ending and, and end it. Yeah, that's the thing. It makes too much money. So yeah. Um, also finished Mario Plus Rabbids, which is Mario XCOM. Yep. It's a good game except for the puzzles. I suck at puzzles, so oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. Finish Doom. Yeah. 2016 Doom. It okay. is. It's a fun game. You go to hell, and you come back, and you go back to hell, and you save Mars. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Makes sense. Um, then I finished Wolfenstein The Old Blood. Mm. Spoilers for that, which is like a three-year-old game. It ends with z- Nazi zombies. And it's... that's how Black Ops and Black <laughs> yes. Ops 2. No. no. Um, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. It's like, yeah, we just stole that idea. Um, they, they literally like open up a crypt. And then, like, Nazi zombies start happening. Like, okay. Which is weird for, like, this prequel because it is pretty grounded for what it is. Like, yes, there's giant robot dogs, but there's, like, you kind of make it grounded in its own reality. Then it's like, Nazi zombies. I'm like, shit, this is the same game that, like, in the second game, you go to Venus. Like, fuck, Hitler's there. You know, the second game is fucking bananas. (coughs) Yeah, Wolfenstein itself has got itself a bit of a name of, like, weird shit. Yeah. Cool weird shit. Um, one of my favourite things in the games is that you can go back and play the original, like, Wolfenstein 3D within the game. Oh. You'd be just walking around, then go to sleep, like, on a bed somewhere, and then it'll just take you to, like, Wolfenstein 3D. Oh. And you're like, what? And it's like, kind of weird playing, like, a, an original, like, 3D game that you can only move left to right, you can't go up and down. Yeah. Which is, yeah. Because it was the, f- I think it was the first, or one of the very <coughs> first, like, 3D games. Hmm. Um, yeah. And then... Did you watch the Uncharted fan film? Have you played the Uncharted games? No, I've seen gameplay of yeah. them. Like, I watched full playthroughs oh, by yeah. some YouTubers, but I haven't played them myself, no. Yeah. The closest I got was the Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider games. So, yeah. Well, the first one anyway, not the second one. Yeah. The fan film's really good. It's got Nathan Fillion in it, who is... He's from Firefly. It's called Castle, the cop show. Oh, yeah. he's the narr- narr- uh, the story writer. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's him. Okay. Um, who does he play? He's Nathan Drake in the Uncharted fan film. That doesn't make sense, but okay. He's kind of the same character. Like Nathan Drake was based basically on Nathan Fillion. Okay. And yeah, and now that Nathan Fillion, and like he's always been fan casted. Like if they ever did a movie, it'd be great if Nathan Fillion. But Nathan Fillion got old, but they just did old man. Um, uh Nathan, Nathan Drake, which Nathan. is what the fourth game's about. Right. So yeah, no, it's really well done. Yeah. Like, yeah, if anyone's a fan of it, watch it. Yeah. Like usually fan films are usually look shitty. Like oh look at the bad special effects. But they don't really do any special effects. It's just yeah. dialogue and like one action scene. So it's pretty good. Um, and I've started Breath of the Wild. You started it? Yeah. Nice. It's, How far are you? I beat the first um, Divine Beast, which is like 10 hours in, I want to say. Okay. Um, there's four more to go, and there's like 120 shrines, which I probably won't do them all. Nathaniel's like, i got like eight left to go, and you sound like a fucking madman. Yeah. He's like, I'm fucking... He wants to get like everything done before he beats Ganon. Yeah, so. he wants basically to get the original like green Link suit. <coughs> yeah, so well he's, he's already got the Master sword. sword. He wants to get the um the Hyrulean shield. Yeah. Um, or the High Shield or something. Yeah, Hawaiian shield, yeah. yeah. Um, and then... 
and the yeah, the 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 original green tunic. link tunic with yeah. the with the hat. Yeah. So. And then he would go beat down. I'm like, ah, I'm not even a fan of the shrines that much because again, I suck at puzzles. So they're pretty simple. From what I saw with Nathaniel, yeah. like they're very straightforward. You just need to have a clear mind and like yeah. actually think about it. Yeah, and then like some of them are good. I'm at the one where I'm like, I have to like match some like rolling balls in the shape of a constellation, but you only get four, and I'm don't know, I don't quite know how it works. Right, I'll figure it out. Probably one of those things, like, next time I pick it up, I'm like, oh, I know how to do this exactly, and just pop, 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 pop. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a fun game. I was talking to Shannon to it about it before. It's just like, I wish it was a modern game. Like, I wish I could click the sticks to run instead of uh, yeah. pressing triangle to run. Yeah. Like, just a couple of weird Nintendo-isms about it. Yeah. Um, but, like, yeah, the game design is good. It's just playing the game. Just, like, it doesn't feel fun to fight, especially coming off Assassin's Creed where it is fun to fight people. Yeah. It's just like, I oh, just bit janky and also i'm not used to the switches buttons layout yet like yes oh, okay. it is still d-pad and all that but i'm not, not where is a where is b yeah. and because they're flipped things that are usually circle are now on the is x where x is okay. like you think about a ps4 control yeah yeah, yeah, control, yeah. yeah um you know it's just there's little things like that i'm just like i wish it's just yeah there's a lot of buttons in the game that you need to press. And, like, and they all do stuff, as most games do. <laughs> yeah. No, I still haven't got a Switch yet, so... Have you got your tax return back? Yeah, I got it back. Yeah. I just haven't You've done anything with it. it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I will eventually. I just yeah. I haven't had any time to stop in at EB Games and do it. What games do you think you'll get for it? I don't know. Definitely Breath of the Wild. I definitely yeah. want to have a look at it. Yeah. Um... I think even if you don't even finish it, like, if you can just get, like, 30 hours out of it, like <coughs> yeah. that's a good chunk, and that's your money well spent, I feel. Yeah. Well, I also want to, um, I also want to get, uh, Mario Kart, because yeah. Georgie's into that. Yeah. She, like, she played it here, um, yeah. and then we left, and she was like, fucking love that yeah, Mario Kart, eh? Yeah. Because yeah. I've tried to get her to play games so many times, she's just not interested. Yeah. But then the moment Mario Kart was like even hinted, she was like, fuck yeah. <laughs> and then I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to get a Switch. She's like, what's that? I was like, that's what we play Mario Kart on. She's like, okay, good. Yeah. That's what like, Mario Kart seems to be the gateway drug. Mm. Like I've heard so many stories. It's like, oh yeah, I play Mario Kart. And then like, I went out and, went out and bought a Switch yeah. like so many times. And yeah. it's like, it's a fucking good game. Mm. Um, yeah. And then, yeah, you get Pokemon and Smash Bros. Yeah, they come I want to... I kind of want to try and get her to play Pokemon with me when Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee come out. They, it is co-op. And That's it what is I mean. Super yeah. basic. Yeah. So give it a go. So if I can, if I can manage that, if I can coax her into it, I want it to then be one of those relationships where, if we have an argument, we settle it with a Pokemon battle. That's what I want. That's always what I've wanted in life, and it's difficult to achieve that where with where we're at now. But I think I can pull it off. I think I can. We'll see what happens though. See what happens. I don't know. How it's a long happens. shot, but yeah, it's possible. Especially because you're in the stats of battling rather. Yeah. Than... Well, I'm. Yeah. If if she was to start playing it, I don't think she'd get that in depth with yeah. stats and everything. So Even like I, I was super nerdy about Pokemon, but I never got into stats, and I think it was because it was before stats were important. Yeah. But like I was just. Well, like, stats were always a, like a thing. It's yeah, just people, yeah, they're always a thing. But I just like, like, kept leveling up, and when people them. actually took it into account and like started doing it, the yeah. competitive battle was basically like use these Pokemon and you will win yeah use Blissey <laughs> yeah pretty much yeah Blissey Charizard Gengar Dragonite Greninja yeah any of them you'll be fine yeah yeah but I um I don't play that game I just play to catch them all yeah I like the stories I like your story too yeah it's always interesting. Like, oh, and now there's a secret weird thing that's like got to do with like the legendaries, like and the lore of the Pokemon world. I'm like, yes, give me that. What's the um? What's the new team for the new game? Team Rainbow or something? Wasn't that a thing? Is it, I think it's still Team Rocket for Let's Go Eevee. They haven't announced anything. No, 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 not for Let's Go. I mean, for the one. The next after game. That. There's nothing that's been revealed for nothing? it. Nothing. No. You're probably just hearing rumors. I don't think. I don't expect Rainbow. to hear anything properly out of it until after Let's Go it comes out. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, no. 
I'm excited. Either way, yeah, I'm keen. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What Dean is doing now is checking his phone for whatever reason. I He's looking for the new Team Rocket, probably. The Team Rainbow. Maybe that was in I Ultra. I swear I saw it, but I don't think. Oh, wait. Fan oh, I think I know what it is. He's having epiphanies. I think it's... <coughs> Excuse me. Well, I can see his thumbs in the back of a phone. Team Rainbow Rocket. Oh. That's right. Team Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Or Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. That's their team. Team Rainbow Rocket. That's weird. Yeah. I know how I feel about that name. Yeah. It sounds too much like Red Rocket, and I'm not like... Yeah. Nah. Yeah. So, to, on to the topic of the show. Yeah. It's you, Dean. Oh, that's me. If you remember, audience, a couple of months ago, Nathaniel and I did a <coughs> one-on-one, which is what Nathaniel and I... No, Dean and I are doing now. There you go. In terms of, like, I just go through their gaming history and it turns out, what games do they like? What was their first game? So, Dean, what was your first game that you remember playing? That I remember playing or that I remember owning? Playing. And then you can we can go to own. Like, what was the first game you bought? I'll say. But yeah, first game you played. What the first game I played? It can be like a couple of them. Like, probably melded into one it by now. It was. <laughs> okay. Either it was... Super Mario Brothers on the Nintendo 64. So the um, Mario 64? I believe so. Yeah. Um, yeah, or it was a Digimon stage fighting game on the PS2. Hmm. So it was one or the other. But thinking like way, way back, yeah, that, those are the two games that come to mind yeah. when I think of like first games ever played it's interesting because we sort of live in this like generation where we kind of had like those three s consoles at the same time mm. and because we were just we were waking up to life at mm-hmm. that point so like mario 64 came out first or was it, like the, was it on the ps1 maybe yeah. digimon game might have been on a ps1 maybe it was on the ps1 i'll look it up but um but yeah those are those are the ones that i i remember yeah. being in my house at least <laughs> yeah um but i mean i definitely played digimon a lot more than mario yeah but mario still. is probably real tricky for a child like um, no i mean i i was terrible at it don't get me wrong yeah but um but yeah it it was okay what the fuck is it giving you, like, modern Digimon games? Give me, like, Adventure Try, which apparently is a live-action... Oh, um, what? Digimon game? Uh, game. Show? Show. Ew. Thing. I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. Whatever. I can't find it. Okay. If I can find it later on, I'll, I'll show Kina. But, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, those are the two games that I remember playing. Um, using the cat Digimon was bullshit, because it just, like, had... A fury swipes type attack where it would just like keep doing that and you can't like everything the moment you get hit by that it would <laughs> fuck you up it was a good time i love um, unbalanced games where they're unbalanced for you <laughs> yeah. yeah so good so um, then what was the first game you went out and bought with your own money which probably is still your parents money <laughs> well yeah so uh before i ever owned a console myself um I, I played, or I had my uncle visiting, um, or my step-uncle, yeah. um, who was, like, a couple years older than me at the time, so he was barely a teenager, and I was, like, this little annoying kid, and he had his, his he had his Game Boy uh, Advance with him, and he was playing Pokemon, and I was like, oh, damn, like, that looks yeah. cool, and he, like, he kept playing it, and I was like, let me play, let me play, and he's like, no, and then, um... Eventually, he you wanted me to... Him. Yeah, I, I killed him and <laughs> stole it. No. Um, eventually, he wanted me to fire up Empire Earth on our computer because my brother had that installed. Mm-hmm. He's like, I don't know how to open it. I was like, oh, I'll open it for you, but you have to let me play Pokemon. And he was like, fine, you can play. And he like he was playing Empire Earth, and I started up Pokemon. I'm like, I'm walking around, and I'm fucking Did you trying to see what's going saved? on. I didn't save every save. I didn't ruin his game or anything, <laughs> as far as I know. Um, but all I remember is seeing a Geo dude, and I'm like, "That's cool, floating rock. What is that?" And then, do you remember what Pokemon game it was? Um, I think it was. 
It didn't have any... Oh, wait, no, it wasn't on the Advance. I think it was just on the regular Game Boy. Because so it, it didn't have any color, so... Oh, shit, yeah. Yeah, so I think it was... Red, blue, or yellow. Yeah. Well, it could have been gold and silver as well. Possibly. It sounds like red or blue. Yeah. Just for Geo, dude, yeah. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I remember playing that, and I was like, oh, cool, floating rock Pokemon. And then, in the battle sequence, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. Yeah. And so I'm like, I'm like, fight. And then I use moves, and like, nothing would happen. And then this Geo dude would just like, beat me up. And I was like, I don't know what to do. And then I like, switch Pokemon like 20 times. And then, <laughs> just nothing was working. And I, I got bored within 10 minutes, and was just like, fuck this game. Um, and then fast forward a few years and I asked my parents to get me a Game Boy because we went to, I think, JB Hi-Fi or Retrovision or fucking... Retrovision. Yeah. Wow. That's, yeah. An I've one. not heard that. <laughs> I don't even know in how long. Yeah. Well, I don't even know how old I was. I mean, saying it alone was just like... It was fucking weird, but <laughs> yeah. So we, were, I think we were, we were in one of the electronic stores. Yeah. Um, and I remember seeing a, a Game Boy in like a glass case, and I was like, "Dad, Kate, I want that. I want, I want the Game Boy." And they were like, "Oh, pff, we'll see what Santa does." And it's like, "Fucking Santa better pull through. <laughs> I'll kill him." Um, and then Christmas came around, and I got a red Game Boy Advance SP. Cool. Yeah, I was like, fuck yeah. Like, An SP, fuck yeah. That's yeah. I was the like, best Game Boy to get. I was like, nice, this is what I want. And then I got a game with it, and it was like, I fucking, I, I, I opened it up, and I was like, cool. Looked at the game. I had no idea what the fuck it was. I know what it is now, obviously, yeah. but back then I was like, I don't know what the fuck this game is. I don't know what's going on. Like, it's crazy. It was the Legacy of Goku, the first one. So I was like, before I'd e- ever even heard of Dragon Ball, I was like, fucking... Huh, that's a weird entry point. Yeah, okay. I was like, I was like, what the fuck is this game? Like, fucking... Did you have the box for Legacy of Goku, or was it just like... Yeah, I got the box. Wow, do you still have it? I don't think so. Okay. I don't Those think boxes I have the are game. Not immortal. I've got, like, Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories on Game Boy Advance, and it's, like, my one of my most prized possessions to keep that box in, like, the best health I can. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and I've like moved like four times. I mean, if I wasn't a stupid kid, I probably would have yeah kept yeah. it. But I was like fifteen when I got that game, so I'm like, I know what I'm doing. Don't crush the box. Yeah, I think I just kept the um the game cartridge and yeah. basically threw everything else out. Yeah, because it was my only game, so it's not like I'm gonna take it out of the SP to put it back in later. <laughs> yeah. Um. <coughs> so yeah. Um. Legacy of Goku. Yeah, played Legacy of Goku, and it started starts off how Dragon Ball starts, where basically. Yeah. You're on the island and everyone's like meeting up. And so all these people are like, oh my God, Goku, you've grown up. And I'm like, I don't even know who the fuck Goku is. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, I'm walking around and I'm having a look at shit. And at one point you have to like find Master Roshi's porno mags before yeah. Gohan can find them yeah. or something. And so I was doing that and I was like, I was like, what are these magazines with girls? Like, why is this old guy reading these magazines with girls on the front? Obviously, I figured it out. Yeah. But yeah, I was like, I was like getting all these magazines. And then like at one point... I found the button that lets Goku fly, but I thought he was swimming. <laughs> yep, that makes sense. Because he would, like, fly over the water. Yeah. I was like, oh, he can swim, but there's, like, a counter in the top corner that lets you fly for a certain amount of time. Yeah. And so I was really confused when I'd, like, fly over the water, and that number would run out, and then I'd teleport back to shore, and I'm like, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> um, and then I figured out how to do Kamehameha's and Key Blasts and whatever else, playing the game... My brother figured out that I had a Dragon Ball game and he he knew what Dragon Ball was. Yeah. So he was like, you know, stealing it every now and again and like restarting it and whatever. And it's just like, fuck, it's my <laughs> game. Um, I eventually beat it and I was so confused when fucking, like, I didn't know who was who, what yeah. was what. So like meeting Vegeta was a fucking trip. It, yeah, it threw me for a loop because it doesn't show you like everything that happens to the Z fighters. Like it's Goku's little adventure. It just, yeah. And he's like walking through West City and like beating up robbers who have guns. And it's like, he's got to fucking find all these capsules for side quests and shit. Then you finally meet up with... I love that episode. Yeah. (laughs) You finally meet up with Krillin and Gohan. And they're like, oh yeah, this guy's fucking beating beating us up. And then you beat up Nappa, who's like ridiculously difficult to kill. 
That's weird. Yeah. And it's like, it's like, what the fuck? And then, yeah, Vegeta kills him, and you're like, oh, cool, this guy's on our side. Well, that's what I thought, anyway. I was like, he's on our side. Oh, and yep. then he fucking <laughs> starts running towards me, and I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck's going on? He starts beating me up, and he beats me up <laughs> in, like, four hits. I'm like, what the fuck? Do I, how do I kill him? I think I, like, glitched the game where I was hiding behind a rock, and, like, he would just try to run at me, but get caught on the rock, and then I just spam Kamehameha's as I... So, like, yeah, uh, the way I beat that game was if you get hit, either with a blast or a punch, I don't remember, if you get hit while flying, like, if you press, if you get hit as you press fly yeah. it glitches so you're flying forever and yeah. you're immortal yeah no you're not fl- you the game thinks you're flying so you can't get attacked but you can just punch people and yeah. they can't attack you you're so right. it's just fucked so yeah just glitch that game out so yeah that game's full of glitches i mean i used to fly a lot when i like nearly die yeah um going back to the vegeta thing though it was like yeah i, I basically cheese the whole fucking yeah. thing then he turned into a monkey that confused the fuck out of me. And then Gohan turned into a monkey and beat up Vegeta. And I was like, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> and then fucking, you know, long story short, everyone's taking fucking spaceships everywhere. And then I'm on Namek. Which I didn't know it was called Namek. Yeah, so just I'm green just like, planet. Yeah, it was like, the grass is now blue. And I'm like, where the fuck am I? Finding all these gems and shit and going through this, like, this temple or something. And yeah. Freezer forces, who I thought were just lizard men. <laughs> they basically they are. They basically are, but I didn't know they were Freezer force. Yeah. And then fucking, I'd never even met Freezer before. And then he fucking shows up and he's like fighting me in third form, I think. Yeah. I think. Maybe. I think he's final form by the time Goku gets into the anime. But... That's right. Yeah. That, yeah. Because, yeah. Because Namek's all fine by the time but... you get to him. And then... I think you do fight his form slow, because I do vividly remember third form Frieza in that game. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I don't know. I don't know either. Maybe I'll get the emulator and play it. Wait, I have the emulator on my phone. I'll play it. Um, on your phone, yeah. Annoying. But yeah, so I... I just remember that. And then... You could just Google it. <laughs> what? The, the result. Of what? What form? Oh, pfft, I don't care. <laughs> but, um... I'll plug six hours into it. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll, fi- I'll figure it out. I'll, I'll know. I'll know later. It's fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, then I... I remember fighting Freezer. And I was like, I don't know why I'm beating this guy up, but I'm going to beat him up. Yeah. Because it looks weird. And then... Like, I beat him. It was all happy. You know? Somehow I fucking beat him. And then... It was a really difficult fight, actually. Yeah. I remember now. I was like, Even, like, me was cheesing like, it, it was really hard. Yeah, I was like, this is so difficult. Because I think his AI, AI was smarter. Like, if I tried to get him caught on a rock, he'd, like, walk around. It was like, you sneaky fuck. <laughs> um, and it was just really difficult. And then I eventually beat him, and I was like, cool. And then Namek, like... Excuse- next thing I know, it's, like, on fire with lava everywhere, and I'm confused what's going on. And then Krillin dies... And then freezes back, and I'm like, what the fuck's going on? And then Goku's hair turns yellow and spiky, and I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> and then Goku was like 20 times stronger anyway, so that fight was easy as fuck. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what's going on, man. I'm just, I'm just fucking having a good time. And I finally beat the game. I was like, what the fuck? Um, and then, yeah, once I beat it, I was like, I need a new game. Guess what it was? Pokemon Ruby. Nope. Close, but no. That was the game after this game. Okay. Um, you probably won't be able to guess. I'll give, give you one more guess. Um, Digimon. No. Oh, fuck. It was The Lion King. Adventures of Timon and Pumbaa. I've seen people have that for yeah. whatever reason. I've never played it. I've never touched it, but I... Whenever I see anyone's Game Boy Advance collection, it's always got that game in it. I'm yeah. like, why the fuck does this exist? I got that for my seventh birthday, that game. I remember because my brother just turned 18, so he had this big party going on downstairs. <laughs> and I was upstairs with my new game, just playing that. And I think someone like busted into my room, and this guy wanted to like have sex with this chick. 
and seven year old me didn't know what the fuck was going on. Yeah. So I was just like having a mad old chat with the chick, and the dude's like sitting there like cock blocking me, kid. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, look at my new game. Like, I got this today. And she's like, oh, wow, that's really cool. And I'm like, yeah. He's like, you should go to bed. And I'm like, no, nah, man, it's my birthday. I'm going to do whatever. And he's like, fuck this kid. Um, but yeah, your no, brother, I, I your birthday the same as your brother's? Yeah. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, we... Um, so, I, I played that for a while. And then I lost my charger for my Game Boy. And I was too fuck. scared to tell my parents. And I was like, oh, man, what a, what a fucking shame. Like... My Game Boy is not working. Then I finally got a new charger, um, and a car charger for for road trips, which yeah. was awesome. Car chargers. And then I had to car chargers. Yeah, they were pretty good. <laughs> and then I stole. Um, I didn't steal. Um, so that uncle that I told yeah. you about that introduced me to Pokemon. Fast track a few years, and he he was over like the the handheld devices. He was into Xbox. Yeah, real and, games. Yeah, and oh. he was like, "Oh, I've got some old Game Boy games for you." And I was like, "Sweet," and I get them. And Ruby was one of them, and I was like, "That looks awesome." I think it was Ruby and Fire Red. I got. Oh wow! Yeah, so I was like, I was like, cool. And I played Ruby, and I was like, this is fun. My first Pokemon was Trico. First you proper choose Pokemon. Grass. Yeah. Well, Trico looks so cool. I think I chose like Torchic with a little chicken, and then you got like this little fish thing. And you I got chose Torchic because of the anime, because I knew Combustion could do to a... Sky Uppercut. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. And this is all I wanted, just to do that move in the game. Just Sky Uppercut. <laughs> yep, just Sky Uppercut. Fair enough. No, once I found out what the fuck Blaziken was, I could not restart that game any faster. <laughs> honestly. I was like, oh man, what a fuck Because yeah, your like, rival would have had it, yeah. Yeah, I, well, I beat it. Yeah. Um, like, I beat the game with Sceptile. Um, that was cool. Like, yeah. I do like all the starters for Holland. Mm. I can't remember my team for it, but Septile no, was, was, was my strongest. I think I tried to use Cast Form at one point. And I was like, "This Pokemon shit. Why did, why did they want this Pokemon?" And yeah. Then I yeah, I figured out. Yeah, it's literally just because it could change types. Um, but yeah, then I I restarted it, got Torchic, played Fire Red, started with Bulbasaur. No Charmander. I thought. Aren't you always getting shit for starting with Bulbasaur? No. I'm always getting shit for saying that Squirtle's better than Charmander. That's fine. That's a fine debate to have. It is but a fine who, debate. Who's the one who gets shit? It was, is it Nathaniel who gets shit for starting with Bulbasaur? It must be. I mean, he may have. I don't remember giving him shit for it. I think everyone else gives him shit for it. Because him, Karen, and myself have always spoken about getting tattoos of the starters. Yeah. Nathaniel would get Charmander, I would get Squirtle, and then by default, Karen would get Bulbasaur. He doesn't even like Bulbasaur. Yeah, I know. He <laughs> says that. He's like, fucking Bulbasaur sucks. It's like, well, someone's got to have it. You can't have two Charmanders in a fucking Squirtle. That's weird. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so, so I, I started that with Charmander, and I think I had like a level 60 Charizard, and then everything else was level 30. Yeah. By the time I got to the league. um, And I... First time fighting the league, I got all the way to the end and I beat Lance and I was like, fuck yeah. Yeah, lethal like done. Like 13 health left on Charizard. Everything else was dead. You didn't get like, a hyper potion or anything? No, I didn't know how to fucking play. Fair enough. I was like, I was like, fuck, like, that was a close call. He's like, we're well, not done yet. Because in my mind, the Elite Four is the Elite Four. Yeah. Did you not finish Ruby? Oh no, I... Oh no. Because Ruby also has a I champion. Hadn't. You must have like swapped and changed between the two. I must have because I remember I remember beating the Elite Four and I was like, "Cool, that's done." And then yeah. he's like, "Well, now you got to beat the champion." And I'm like, "Who the fuck's the champion?" What I'm, the fuck? I'm the thinking champion? like I'm thinking like hopefully the champion's easy. Stupidly, I was like, "Yeah, hopefully he's easy." I, I thought at the same time because I yeah. went vastly unprepared. Yeah, because I had I, no fucking. I prepared I for four in my first game with Ruby. I prepared for four, and that's what I did. And yeah. I got four. I'm like, "Oh fuck!" And then it's yeah. just a steel count at the end. I'm like, "Yeah." Fuck. Yeah, fucking Steven. Yeah. yeah. What a weird Fuck Steven. Steven. It was weird because the, I got I was got into Pokemon on the Game Boy Advance because of a guy I knew at like daycare called Steven. <laughs> so nice. really weird. <laughs> <laughs> nice. But yeah, you got to Gary. Um Yeah, so I Lance is like, Oh, you gotta beat the champion and I'm thinking like first of all, who the fuck's a champion? Second of all, like w- no one told me about the champion. Yeah. And then I fucking walked into this room and yeah, it was Gary, but for some reason his name was something else. Who? What did you call him something else? I think I, I think I, I don't know what I called him. I think I called him like Mark. 
was like there is a couple of default themes. No, that was my brother's name. Okay. Yeah, but I can't remember what I called him. Oh wait, no. I can't remember. Yeah. I don't know. It wasn't Gary. Yeah. But yeah, he, I walk into the room and he's like, hey, fuck you. Now we're going to fight. And I'm thinking, well, I've beat him like 20 times before. Like, it's going to be so fucking easy. <laughs> and then I get in there and, and I'm like, oh, wait, my Charizard only has 13 health. So he starts with Pidgeot. I throw out my Charizard. I'm like, easy mode. Flamethrower, dead in one hit. I'm like, fuck yeah. Then he throws out Blastoise. I'm like, ah, oh, this is going to suck. <laughs> and so I use... Flames are like a fucking moron. And then he uses like hydro pump or something on yeah, me and just uh, obviously kills me. Yeah. I was like, fuck. And like an idiot, rather than trying to train up my other Pokemon. You just keep going in? I kept trying to train Charizard. Because my thinking was, if I made Charizard strong enough, no matter what the type disadvantage was, he could still win. If you, like, yeah, got him to level 100, you could wipe him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. Like, in my mind, I was like, fucking do it. But obviously, it didn't work, because I, I don't think I've beaten Fire Red to this day, actually. Really? I'd probably do that. It's a good game. I think yeah. you need to do that with Let's Go. Yeah, I've just, I've never done it. But, um, yeah, so, I... I think I gave up on that. And then... Oh, fuck. Where do I move on from there? I think I bought my own PS2 with my own money. Oh, wow. Yeah. And that's when I met Kyron, who introduced me to... Yeah, because I bought it because of Kyron, actually. He introduced me to Budokai Tenkaichi 3. Fucking and I game. saw Broly in that game. I was like, who the fuck is this cunt? <laughs> he's a massive dude. He's he's crazy. And now he has a fourth movie. Yeah, which actually looks really it looks pretty. I don't know if I give a damn about the story, but I mean, look, I was look growing on it. But yeah. Broly actually looks like he has a character base. Yeah, because what Toriyama's come out and said, he's just like, I just watched the movie. I'm like, I could give this guy a second dimension. Yeah, <laughs> and then I'm like, he's okay. not just gonna scream Kakarot. The way the Vegeta's put it though, he's like, he's learning as he fights. It's not like, yeah, it's not like, oh, he's all powerful and we can't do anything about it. It's like they start off like thinking, ha, huh, what a fucking idiot! Can't even go Super Saiyan. Yeah. And then he slowly gets better and better, and they're like, okay, we should probably do something. And then he turns into legendary. green, yeah, legendary Super Berserker, Saiyan. Yeah. And it's like, they're fucked. Yeah. But yeah, beside that, yeah. Um, I saw, yeah, I, I saw Broly. Because um, I think, I think I invited Karen and my friend Adam over for one of my <laughs> birthdays. And Karen's like, yeah, I'll bring my PlayStation. We'll fucking, you know, we'll, we'll duke it out. Or I think I had a PlayStation and you just bought the game. Yeah. Um, back in the day when you didn't have to download shit to play a game. You can still just bring discs. <laughs> <laughs> you can, but you know, you still gotta download shit and like it's yeah, gotta true. it's gotta install it onto the fucking thing. Yeah. Whereas back then you could just be like, Oh man, I've got Pop a game in. for two two nights. Well then you'll love easy. the switch. <laughs> video easy. Fuck yeah, video you fucking easy. have that two night um, exclusive like rental for the new games. And you'd fucking... You'd have to try and beat it in two nights. Yeah. That Which was difficult. Fuck. That's like... That's speedrunning. That's the original yeah. speedrun community. Yeah, <laughs> honestly. But, um... Yeah, so... Because of that, I ended up getting a PlayStation 2. And... Stupid me, I didn't do any research. And so, I wanted to get Budokai Tenkaichi 3. But instead, I got Budokai 2. Budokai 2. Budokai 2. Fuck. So, it was I like Budokai that. Tenkaichi 2... Kind of the same game, and uh, Budokai, it has more story. Well, like it's, it is, it, it's kind of like Fighters, in a sense. Fighter, uh, Budokai Two. Yeah, yeah. Like it's that same fighting style. Yeah. Whereas Tenkaichi Three, like you could fly it's around 3D, and everything yeah. else. Yeah. Um. So yeah, like people really like Budokai Two. It was oh, it was good for what it was. Yeah, yeah absolutely. It's just, it's just not it wasn't the game for. that I wanted. Yeah. So I was like, I'll still play it, but it's not as cool. And then I ended up loving Trunks, and then I'd add the the transformation of Gotenks to that yeah. and it was just it was fun I just beat everybody with Gotenks I was like yeah I love this game <laughs> by everyone I mean the computer but still yeah. Um, so yeah then I um, I got that and then I like kitted it out with like wireless controllers for the PS2 remember like, that just yeah. wireless controller like, oh having to change batteries all the yeah, time yeah exactly oh it was terrible and then eventually you just give up and go back to the wired yeah. controllers <laughs> yeah you're just like fuck this um, and then I ended up selling that on eBay so I could save up money for an Xbox, which I then got Skate. Skate. Just the first Skate game on skate. Xbox 360. 
Um, skate 8. Yeah. Nah, it'll come out. Um, in Skate 4. <laughs> nah, what, what's the new one? Session. Session, yeah. yeah. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, interesting. Um, but yeah, so I, I got that. And then over time, I met Nathaniel and I... He had an Xbox as well, that's right. And um, we played Cast Crashes on that. Oh, yeah. um, played a bit of Monster Hunter before that on the PSP. Wow. Hipsters. Um, yeah. <laughs> on the PSP, yeah, no, that was yeah. that's the first big Monster Hunter. Yeah, I think it was destroyed Japan. Tri Hunter or something. Yeah, uh, yeah Monster one. Hunter Tri, that Monster, was it. Yeah. yeah. Um, and my friend Adam got a, a Wii. Um, which is something that my sister and I then ended up getting, but he got like Monster Hunter Ultimate or something on the Wii. I don't Try know. Ultimate, I think. Something like Yeah, I don't yeah. really know don't the know. name it of was, the other It was some big title, but yeah, yeah that happened. Uh, and then, you know, here and there, I played some other game on the PSP. I'm trying to find out what it was, but I can't for the life of me. There was like, you could get different classes and like you could, you could go into different worlds with, other people connected the same way and i was a mage with like a wand and i don't know it's hard to explain but basically like there were main bosses so one of them was like a a giant octopus um i don't know i'll have to do it and it was like much easier multiplayer to take down the bosses Yeah, yeah yeah um you also have these things i think they were called sprites or something and it would like and like little fairy things that like helped you out and this sounds like Final Fantasy Type Zero, but that was only Japanese exclusive on the PSP. So okay, it's definitely no, not that. No. Um, I'm just trying to think. Like, it sounds also. Sounds you could create your own character, so it wasn't like character based. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I couldn't tell you. Yeah. But yeah, I I played that. Um, before that, Need for Speed Underground Two on the on the computer. That was a thing. Um. Mortal Kombat, as I said, with my brother. Do you remember which one? No. no that's fine. <laughs> it was on the Xbox, I think. I don't think I ever played a Mortal Kombat until ten, uh, 9 came out in Australia, finally. I went to oh, okay, yeah. and played Mortal Kombat 9. And you're like, yeah, I'm playing what, well, the band game, but now it's, we have the R18. I think it was like 6 or something. Really shit me off. Oh, Halo was another one that I used to play um, with my brother... With my brother and his friends, actually. Um, so we'd have, like, the four-player split screen on, like, the old maps. Like, yeah. first Halo. Yeah. Um, my favorite, like... I never played much Halo on Xbox. Mm. I played a lot, like, on PC. Because we all had the cracked version for it. Mm. So, yeah, just at the computer lab, just playing... Yeah. Fucking just 16 players on LAN. Yeah. Just, just, like, Sidewinder. Yeah. Yeah. God, just... That was a good time. You know, when people say, oh, Halo multiplayer, for me, it's LAN parties at school. Battle Creek. Yeah. <laughs> yeah no it was a good fucking time but I still suck it, at it but well playing it as a kid like I was oh yeah when I, I think I this first... was before I even had my Game Boy so yeah like I was playing this game with like these older older boys and my my brother's girlfriend at the time and she was the best out of all of us so it would be like a free for all and then it'd be like me my brother Mark um I don't know his friend Sean and then yeah his girlfriend Leone and literally we'd just sit in this room for like an hour and a half and all you'd hear is fuck off leone fuck off what the fuck was that oh this bullshit fuck off and every time you'd be in a room and you'd think you were safe you'd just see like a flash of pink and then you'd be dead it's like all right I've, i don't want to play anyway fuck this game for me seeing halo for the first time was revolutionary because i'd never seen a first person game before oh, okay um because i would have been What's that? Math four, five or six, and I don't even think third person games. So again, seeing this, I'm like, what the fuck is this? And it was mm. like kind of like mature, but like kitty mature. Because mm. it's shield. It's not like yeah. yeah. Um, and you're like, oh my god, like, and the <coughs> Xbox, like the Xbox was just a scary thing, just like this big black menacing. I'm like, I miss my PS2. Yeah. Um, you know, and then seeing first person, I'm like, what is this? And I and I try to play it because it's a twin stick shooter as well. Like you have to use both analogs. I'm like, I have just, yeah, the baby, I couldn't figure out how to wrap my head around it. Yeah. That's what came after Halo. Uh, well, Halo was when I was, when I was young. Yeah. 
so like after that it was yeah my first game boy all that shit yeah. um i got a ds light at one point to get the new well new at the time it was diamond and pearl so i got diamond diamonds yeah with uh with chimchar chimchar who did uh, i go i think i went chimchar as well hey i think i went chimchar as well i could have yeah. went with the grass one well i went chimchar because my friend adam he he chose Piplop and had Empoleon, and his brother Marcus had uh, Turtwig, so Torterra. They were like, oh yeah, choose Chimchar so we can like you know yeah. breed them and then like give each other the 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 eggs yeah. for the other ones. I was like righto, but I ended up loving Chimchar over the others anyway, yeah. so it worked out. Yeah. Um, I did a really stupid thing though. I had I had Infernape with close combat. Then I had a Star Raptor with close combat. <laughs> so I just was like, oh, one of them fainted with close combat. All right, we'll check the second one out. Close combat. <laughs> it's, so, it's so stupid. <clears throat> but it worked. And then I got a Luxray. Oh, love my Luxray. I think that's why I love Jolteon that much. Because it's like... Yeah, closest thing. Jolteon's like cool. Yeah. But Luxray is pretty cool. cool as well. Jolteon's like OG. Yeah. Is it weird to think that We'll be getting a Diamond and Pearl remake soon, like well, like within the next five years. Is it weird to think that? Because like I feel I was pretty old when I it's Diamond not and Pearl. Too came weird, but it's still weird. Yeah. yeah. Um. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I'd want to see it to be honest. Yeah, because there's not much else you can do. Yeah, there's not much more that they can change. No, because like, yeah, it was like the first 3D quote-unquote game. Yeah. Um, but, well, yeah. No, that was still, that was still pictures. Yeah, they were still like sprite-based. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like the they went from being pixel art to, um, yeah, models. Yeah. Diamond and Pearl. Yeah. Um, it was still, yeah, 2D grid-based, <coughs> but yeah. Yeah. No, I was fucked, but, um. Yeah. That was alright. Went okay. I remember the first time I played Star Wars uh, Knights of the Old Republic when I was like 16, I think. Yeah. That was crazy. I've still never played KOTOR. I like dicked around on the PC version, but because I can't fucking use a keyboard for the right. Well, the first, the first one I played was Knights of the Old Republic 2. Yeah. So, like, half the story missed me anyway. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, it, it was like, um, cause I'd, I'd seen it been played before and I was like, oh, okay, I've, I've seen this. Um, and then I had a look and the fucking graphics, like keep in mind when I was 16, like that was, it was like terrible compared to what I was used to. Yeah. Like that, I think it was the same time that Assassin's Creed 3 came out. So you're playing it in 2012. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so it was like, I went from Assassin's Creed 3 for my Christmas present yeah. to them playing Knights of the Old Republic 2 because I like Star Wars yeah. and I was bored. And I was like, these graphics are terrible, but the story is amazing. Gameplay was great, loved it. Yeah. It was just only the graphics. That's why I want them to do a remake so fucking bad. Yeah, it's... But it they won't. fucking sucks because the best version you get is probably the iPad or the new re-release PC version. Yeah, um, no, I, I, I downloaded uh, both of them on Steam. So yeah. I, I, I was playing through them at one point, but I stopped, so... Yeah. Maybe I should go back um, and do that. A lot of people say that, like, the tablet version is, like... Almost feels like the way it's supposed to be played. Yeah. Like, for whatever reasons, it's, like, it didn't super intuitive just to touch things and, like, yeah, and you're dead, and you're dead sort yeah. of thing. I'm like, that's really good praise for an iPad port. That's, lazy. It, that's basically the whole game. Like, yeah. if, you, if your character's strong enough, yeah, you, you just pause the game... You're like, alright, so I'm gonna attack, 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 play. And then you just, like, you see your yeah. character run through and kill everybody. It's like, pause. Attack, attack, yeah. attack, attack, go. And it, it was just amazing. And then you've got your companions, like, shooting from behind or whatever else. So yeah. fun. So good. One day I'll play the KOTOR games. Yeah. I feel bad, like, I'm a Star Wars fan, I'm a Bioware fan, have not played them. And they're, like, That's some so of the best good. games of all time. They are. They, um, you need to, yeah, get on top of that. Absolutely. Yeah. I um, think they they're were on, on sale for Steam because I got them part of a Star Wars game package. Yeah. So I I also yeah. got like this game, um, Jedi Academy. Have you, yeah, have I've you heard of it. it. I've never played. I Nathaniel owns it as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I played that. 
but there's like there's other games before it which I hadn't played yet. So. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like it's a spin off, and then there's Jedi Academy Two. It's just, it's in a yeah. weird like own sub series. Yeah, but that 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 was was an okay, um, it was an okay story, but um, what was I saying? The the gameplay was fun for Jedi Academy Two because yeah. it was like it was so free. Yeah. Like it was literally you run around and you slice shit up with your with your lightsaber. And then left click you'll use whatever force power you have highlighted. So whether it be pull, push, yeah. mind trick, fucking you know Yeah. Explosion, whatever whatever it be. Yeah. Um and like you could you could customize your lightsaber so you could have you could have one, you could have two, you could have your double ended, change your colour, the hilt, you know, change one colour of one lightsaber, change your second one. And you just run around, throw shit at people. Like, it was crazy. It was so fun. Um, it was annoying when you had to, like, got stuck on those levels and you kept dying over and over again. But yeah. other than that, yeah. Some good games for Star Wars. That's what I'm keen They used to make ones. good, really good Star Wars games yeah. when EA got it. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking EA. I want them to not fuck it up, but I feel like they're absolutely going to fuck it up. And the fact that, oh... Star Wars The Clone Wars is releasing a new season. Fuck yes. yeah. That was like the best news I I'm saw. I'm like, so keen. Like, fuck. I was not prepared for it because I knew Rebels was getting a sort of sequel. Like, it was gonna... Like, have you is seen Rebels? Is it finished? Yeah, Rebels is done. Okay. Watch it. It's like four seasons. I, I watched I watched the first season <clears throat> um, when it finished. Yeah. And I was like, oh, wow. Like, they're bringing Darth Vader into it now. Yeah. I definitely have to watch the second season and I never have. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. If you ever get a chance. Like, but def- I know... I know Ahsoka's in it. Yeah, Ahsoka's in it. I'm um, keen to see it. It finishes the the clones, like the clones from Clone uh, Wars. They bring them back and like, oh, here's their story now that they're old. And like, what does that mean for an old clone trooper? Well, there was, an old, trooper. there was an old clone trooper um, in Clone Wars. Yeah. What was his name? Um, I can't remember. I don't know. But like, these he died. Like, but, yeah, yeah, they all aged up and like, yeah. and like, oh, and they like, aged well. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas the other guy was just old and decrepit. Yeah. Um, because there's a bunch of storylines that they like go and... Mm. It ends well, and it sets up the next series, which is probably going to be on the Disney streaming service, I think. Mm. Whenever that launches. But yeah, it'll be, it's the same creative team it's, behind uh, Rebels and Clone Wars. It's called Movies Anywhere, isn't it? it? Hasn't got a name yet. Disney? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. The streaming service? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. You positive? Yeah. Because There's been like weird other things for it. I like swear, Groom Project. Um, yeah. To the that, I, the logo for it. Yeah, um, I did see that. I don't know. Yeah, but this you go to the Disney thing and it doesn't have a name for it, like on Wikipedia or something like that. Yeah, mm. which is yeah. I think that's a different thing. It's not their streaming service core. Yeah. Like whatever that'll be, which is where we'll get a new Star Wars live action show, a new Star Wars everything. It's, um, a high school musical TV show, Monsters Inc. Uh, TV show. I think they're doing. Actually. Yeah. Can they not? I know. Just don't watch them. Just watch Star Wars. Yeah. And, um, Marvel shows. It sucks that I have to get like an, a different subscription yeah. for all of these different TV shows. Like I want one core based. Piracy. Yeah. It's free. <laughs> um, it's but, free real estate. It's free real estate. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Because at the moment, I, I just started a subscription for Crunchyroll just so I could watch My Hero Academia. Is it not on Anime Lab? Nope. Really? Mm. Anime Lab's more for, like, your, your older ones. Yeah, our time. And, stuff. like, your more mainstream ones. So, like, it's got all of Dragon Ball, all of Super, One Piece, Bleach, all of that. Yeah. And then it's got, like, Cowboy Bebop. And like yeah. Afro and like Samurai and shit like that. Sailor Moon and stuff like that. Yeah, That's Sailor why Moon. I like it. Because but then we... Crunchyroll's got, like, My Hero... Hey, Mob Psycho 100, fucking Hunter, Hunter, um, fucking One Punch, oh, actually, One Punch is on Anime Lab 2. Um, there's, yeah, there's different ones on each. I kind of wish we had Verve in Australia. Do you know what Verve is? I've got no idea. Verve is just an amalgamation, like, you can get Funimation, Crunchyroll, a couple of uh, Rooster Teeth projects, like, I'm not sure which ones, because I'm not a Rooster Teeth fan. Camp Camp. Maybe Ruby's on it. I think. Yeah. Um, I'm like, oh, this sounds like really good. And X-ray like, and Trick Bab. US only. I'm like, 
fuck you. Yeah. I want this discount code that all my YouTubers be throwing at me. <laughs> I fucking hate how they make all of these, like, US... Yeah. That's what's, like, bullshit. annoying me, like, the DC streaming servers, which... No, is... what? Yeah. It's, what, U- US? It's US only at the moment. Like, you... you fucking you... kidding me? Yeah. And, like, it's gonna be like Netflix, which means... You kill me for it, government. I'm gonna be pirating Young Justice season three. Yeah, like absolutely. Like if I'm not getting it, and like Young Justice is probably one of my favorite shows. If we can't get it, what do they expect us to do? Like I'm not gonna wait. Like I've been waiting so long for Young Justice season three. Yeah. I'm not gonna wait an extra year or two. No, fuck that. And like Titans trailer came out. Like I've been excited for Titans for a long time. Is but... Titans live action or yeah? Okay. It's the have you seen the memes of the fuck Batman thing? No. Okay. Yeah. Oh wait. Yeah, that's the, Titans. The one with Shazam. No, no, no. <laughs> yes, the Shazam that's memed from Fuck Batman, which is from Titans. Okay. Because yeah, Robin lands down. And he's like, oh, where's Batman? He just fucking almost. I think he kills them. Like he almost like he snap a necks and like throw a knife into throats. Holy shit! And like Robin's doesn't kill, especially Dick Grayson. Yeah. Um. And so he's like, "Fuck Batman!" And she's like, "Oh my god!" It's just it's a try hard gritty TV show I'm like Jesus Fucking this is yeah. bad um, hopefully there's just a bad trailer but who's to say mm. um, well maybe it's not Dick that's the thing but th- that person is cast as Dick Grayson like that that is Dick Grayson we've seen oh, okay. Jason is also in the show so I don't know what they're going for Interesting. because this is Titans like this is Dick Grayson after he's broken up with Batman like after they have the betrayal of trust or whatever they're gonna do with this one is after like he's going through his breakup. With oh, Batman. so they're having the fallout. Yeah, so okay. he's not. He's like Robin. He's transitioning into Nightwing. I feel by the end of season one he will be Nightwing. Um, okay. Yeah. So is he for that trailer? Is he dressed as Robin? Robin yeah. Okay. He's still got the R and everything. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. It's a. I've been excited for that show for a long time because it was announced in like 2013. Yeah. Yeah. And they'll come out like, oh, it's. But yeah, no, I'm, yeah, pirating. Yeah. If it's not coming here, like, if it's like within a month, I can wait a month maybe. Fucking arrest me, government. Do it. Don't give a fuck. I'll probably just download it and give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well. Yeah. Um, Either way, I'm not gonna sell it to you because that's a that's that's, that's the worst illegal. kind of piracy. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's the that's the offense is selling pirated content. Selling your shit. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. Did we ever get to the first game you actually bought with your own uh, money? Uh, I believe it was Budokai. Yes, we did get that, yes. I think. Your first console, it sounds like you bought, was PS2. PS2, correct. What's your relationship with the 360 generation? Like, because like, I feel that's like the... Like where the PlayStation we came up 3, like, 360 yeah. and the, the Wii. Wii. Yeah. Like, it's nostalgic, but... Yeah. I, it was a terrible time for gaming for me. Um, not because games were terrible or anything. It was literally because my parents, my parents didn't fund it very well, yeah. or not very well, uh, at but all. not at all. Yeah. So it was literally like anything I wanted, I had to wait so much because my pocket money was like ten dollars a fortnight. Yeah. So if I wanted the new game coming out, I'd have to save for like twenty weeks. Yeah. Like it just didn't. It wasn't possible. Yeah. Um, plus, I had, like, no storage on my Xbox. Oh, shit. Because yeah. the one that I bought, I didn't know what storage was at that yeah, time. Yeah, no, fair enough. So, it was, like, the one that I bought was, like, it was a 32 gigabyte hard drive. And so, when I got, like, more than six games, it was just, there was no point. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it... <clears throat> It was it was okay. Um, I think that's part of the reason I spent so much time at Nathaniel's house, though, is because yeah. he had an Xbox and a PlayStation and a Wii. Yeah. And like with the Wii, I got like Super Smash Brothers Brawl. Like that was my favorite game. I I've been meaning to say you this. I need you guys to teach me how to play Smash when Ultimate comes out. Cause I've oh never, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I've never played it, and yeah. I do want to get good at it. I'll I'll run you through it. Um, do what I did. Read the game manual. If it comes with one. Well. Do, do they not anymore? No. Have you not opened a case? For no. The for Switch, Switch games, like, the most thing that I've got in a paper is um, Zelda comes with a map. Oh, no. Two, like a uh, double-sided poster. We'll do the tutorials, then. Do yeah. all the tutorials. Because I I read through it, and 
like for brawl and yeah literally i (laughs) i studied that shit it would it like had all of the supers like the final smashes from every single character um it told me like how to how to do your rolls and your phase out and like everything else and it was just like mechanics that i didn't even know existed yeah and i read them and i was like you can fucking do that it's crazy (laughs) and then yeah like do a lot of um competitive play as well yeah if you can that's the thing yeah i'm definitely gonna be fighting you guys um not not just us though i mean like online online. yeah it'll be difficult but it'll it'll train you up um, yeah because i'm definitely going to be doing that yeah because that's the thing like i for some reason like i'm pretty good at injustice and fighters i just pick them up like pretty quickly Mm. i think because they are just the basic same like down square triangle like uh down towards triangle sort of stuff and it's all just based around the same attacks whereas brawl's a very different language and like, it's I'm not very, very good at Xenoverse. To like, yeah, I'm not very good at Xenoverse, but that is again a very different game. Yeah. Whereas, yeah. Well, actually. with um, with Brawl, it's more or less like um, it's more or less. I, I, I think the other combo, the, the thing that I couldn't really wrap my head around when I do try to play it is that you're just knocking people off and like the percentages and all that. Yeah. Like that's always the thing that's like I just. Because I didn't know what I was trying to aim for. Because I always so are like, you aware? Of, are you aware of how that works? No. So if you try to get a high percentage, but I don't know what high percentage. No, is. no, no. So the way so the way it works is everyone gets dropped into the stage with zero percent, mm-hmm. and then you get hit. Depending on what attack it was, your percentage goes up. Yeah. And the higher your percentage, basically the more bouncy your character is. So if you hit someone really hard, but they're zero percent, they'll fall back but then they'll most likely land on the stage, get back up, keep yeah. fighting. They've got a really high percentage, and you smash them. Smash. Yeah. They literally fly across the screen. So you want them to have a higher percentage? Yes. The higher the percentage, oh. the more fucked you are when you get hit. I think that's the thing that I never got, was that I was always focusing on my percentage. I mean, so that's I something you should focus on, but yeah. Well, so if, you, if, you, if you're playing like uh, a stock-based yeah. game, game mode, then you know, everyone's going to beat up the guy with the five lives and he's just going to keep getting juggled and eventually, like, you just have to keep beating him off the stage. Um, or if you're going for the kills, you know, you always go for the highest percentage people because they're going to be the easiest to knock off. Like, things like that. Um, but yeah, depending on what attacks you get hit with, so some attacks obviously are stronger than others. Mm. So if you just hit someone with a basic punch, it'll add, like, 2%. <coughs> yeah. But if you, like, if you charge up an attack and then smack them, it'll add like 12% yeah I think the highest percentage you can get is like 300 yeah um, but yeah so basically what you want is a low percentage and everyone else to have a higher one but when you when you get knocked off the stage you get reset back to zero yeah. obviously um, and yeah it's you'll you'll learn it as yeah. it goes I, just, um, I think yeah system like that I do need to be taught and you mm-hmm. seem pretty good at it yeah um I don't know what they'll translate it with for the Switch. I think the, the basic percentages, I think that'll be the core. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But with, with, be very with getting knocked off the stage, um, I remember specifically for the Wii, B up was the yeah. move that you used to get back on the stage. So it would be like a, an upwards attack that yeah. would help you do that. So I think uh, Mario would just do like his... his wah, wah, yeah. And then like, you know... Yeah. Go a higher. Uh, Pit could fly. Fly a little bit, yeah. His wings would turn blue and he'd like, yeah, fly up. Kirby would do like a sword s- slash, so he'd like swing all the way up in the air and then back down. Yeah. Um, Snake had a little helicopter thing, like helicopter drone. Yep, cool. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Sonic bounced off of a fucking spring that appeared out of nowhere. Yeah. That's cool. It was just. It doesn't make like sense, that. but yeah, that's cool. Doesn't make sense, no. But, but I don't think it, it's like, smash yeah. it's not made to make sense um, but yeah no absolutely we can teach you it, it will take you no time you'll yeah. probably be one of those people that'll figure it out and be like okay this is fucking easy <laughs> okay let's go because <laughs> at the end of the day it's a kids game yeah yeah so it's not Aren't that hard all games for kids no no, <laughs> no I would never not. let a kid play Dead Space no <laughs> <laughs> I was um I was playing Fable when my cousin came over once Fable 3 yeah and I was like, I think I was trying to get an achievement for like having a kid or something <laughs> and then like killing the spouse and then getting adopted or something, something like that. Yeah. Um, and I, yeah, just as I like took a, uh, a, a, 
a whammon to the beds to have the sex um and the screen goes dark and it does all the, the sex noises and my fucking cousin comes into the room he's like what are you doing i'm like fucking leave leave right now <laughs> i'm like trying to turn down the tv i'm like ah fuck <laughs> every time every goddamn time my thing is that like i never really got caught doing that luckily mm. um i would always get called in the dream final cut scene Oh, fucking like book work like, no, like clockwork yeah I would get like I'd finish the final box the final cutscene which you can't pause mm. and then be Kina <coughs> I'm like fuck you mom <laughs> play a video game yeah that no, was always terrible yeah. um but I mean what can you do grab mom a drink of water and head back as fast as you can <laughs> yeah it was always scary if you didn't know that you could pause cutscenes or not, like yeah, it was always like, scary to press start because yeah. either that's gonna pause it or that's or gonna skip, skip it, it. Yeah. or not do anything. Or yeah, but that's like I'd rather that. Right, than skip but it. by the time you got into like the final cutscene, you should have figured that out by now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, I remember like for Metal Gear Solid uh, Four, I a lot of game, a lot of like people I talked to, like yeah, the final cutscene is an hour and a half long. Yeah. I'm like, well, I'm gonna have to carve that out of my life, <laughs> and like Dad just comes in and starts watching it for a bit, like. It's kind of like important, like he starts having a weird chat, which he doesn't do. He doesn't come in for chat, but he just does it one day. I'm like, this is like the finale of the series, Dad. I didn't actually say this. I'm just like mm, just being there, an awkward fifteen year old, just like, yeah. Let me fucking see my clones die. Like, yeah. well, I had my own TV in, TV in my room. Yeah, that's what so I was doing. Yeah, it was easier that way, but yeah, it's terrible. Yeah. You know. I think Destiny was probably the first game I ever like played the beta for as well, and I had major hype for it. Yeah, I played that game so much, the core of it, not the DLC. Yeah, but that's yeah. pretty good. Like a lot of people like eh, cool. vanilla Destiny is pretty. Yeah, I don't know. It was. It was very like looking back on it, I'm like, why the fuck did I like that? But it was good that when you I did played like the it. beta, I was like, I was like, this is a fucking cool game. Yeah, it was like I you're to play always Destiny, looking but at. I didn't have any internet or friends yeah. at the time. Oh, well, there you go. I always looked at my friends and I'd be like, hey, what's your, what's your defense stats? And they'd be like, oh, 360. And I'd be like, oh, mine's 372, <laughs> dick. I was like, just always trying to one-up. Yeah. Which was really good, but yeah. I don't know. It was a good time. So when did you get your Xbox One? That's your primary console at the moment? Uh, yes, it is. I got my Xbox One, oh, not last year, the year before that. 2016 yeah that's pretty new yeah it was well it's an s so. oh cool yeah this is a pretty i really yeah. like the white s small yeah. white box yeah no it was good i i remember because i was currently working well, i was working for um it yeah my in my it job uh, in harvey bay <laughs> And it was coming closer to the to the Christmas holidays, and since I did most of the work for schools in the area, yeah. they were like, "Well, schools aren't gonna need you. We're not really gonna need you." So, fuck off. <coughs> yeah, just just take take the time off and then come back January whenever. Yeah. And I was like, "Okay, cool." Then I'm thinking, "What the fuck am I gonna do for the next six weeks?" I was like, "Hey, EB's having a game sale. You know, maybe I'll just buy a fucking you Xbox." You think EB's having a sale? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But yeah, they were having a sale for Christmas coming up, and I was like, fuck yeah, I'll get a new Xbox. And so I got that, uh, a download copy for Battlefield 1, oh. and... Battlefield 1? Yeah. Battlefield yeah, 1, cool, cool. yeah. It just came out. Um, and something else. Skyrim. No, not Skyrim. <laughs> it was... Minecraft. I think I got my no I didn't get Minecraft for the Xbox One no I got fuck what did I get I'm just trying to think of games that are usually bundled in I got GTA 5 oh yes I know I got GTA 5 because the, my mates that played Xbox at the time like That's if I couldn't think of anything to play that would have been the one to play yeah. uh, I think I got Star Wars Battlefront I bought that uh, the first one obviously yeah. um, the third one the third one, yeah. Well, the fourth one, or the PSP. It was game, fucking it? terrible. Like it was good, but it was so bad. It, that's the thing. Like it always looked, it looked, quote unquote, like the movies, like the animation mm. and the, the way everything fired. It like, also looks like Battlefield One, just with laser guns. 
yeah. graphics is literally the same. Yeah, it's, it's the, the same, same engine. It's the same engine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's fine. Like, yeah. But that's what I mean. Like, yeah. It was just, you know. Yeah. To me, that's kind of lazy, but also I'd do the same. Yeah, that's what happens when you have, like, a really short time to make a game. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Thanks, Disney and EA. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do you like your Xbox One? What do you mean? Do you like your Xbox One? I haven't just played it for ages. Okay. It's mainly because I don't have a good TV to play it through. Okay. So, I mean, if I... It's fucking close up. Um, if I... Yeah. If I get a, if I get a better TV... What's wrong with the DVD you have? It's like tiny as fuck. And it doesn't play sound through it. Which I don't really need because I generally have my headset Headphones, plugged in okay. anyway. But I also don't have internet at the moment either. Yeah. Most of my games are online. Yeah. Okay. Um, plus, I have my I have my friend uh, using my account as a primary. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Like, I can't play games offline that I own because it's like, this isn't your main Xbox. It's like, fucking is. Friends just a scrunch, <laughs> but um, yeah, whatever I have on the disc though, I can do that. So that works, I guess. Um, yeah. yeah, I don't know. I'm keen to get a switch though. Yeah, which is don't need to be online. You can update games, but you don't need the updates. Yeah. Like, which is good. I hate you update it. your controllers. Uh, Oh, really? That's what's really weird. You go on the settings, like, update controllers. And I think it just helps with, because a lot of the left Joy-Con is often fucked. It just does things, and the left one just, more often, no, 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 fairly regularly, they're, like, buggered, and it just helps with that. Yeah. Sometimes it fixes it, sometimes it doesn't, and then you just send it in the Nintendo after that. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that's, like, a weird update thing. Hmm. Um, yeah. What else? What's the other question I have? It's a good question. <laughs> My, Yeah. Interesting question. How do you view video games? Like, a lot of people are like, oh, they're an art form, and they are. Like, I do that. Some a lot of people are. view them as, like, a fun toy. Just like, oh, this is just something I do Some in my spare are. time. Yeah. Um, that's, I, that, look, that's the beauty with them all. Um, as a collective, video games, anything. Yeah. Like, you can, you can go from something as a historic war uh, simulation, where they talk about the First World War and, you know, the shit that went on with that. And then you've got the next thing where, you know, you're the leader of a gang who does fucking ad commercials and then <laughs> gets trapped in a simulation where you get superpowers. Like, yep. the, the the spectrum for different types of video games is, like, infinite. Yeah. Like, like you can't be wrong. Like, we've seen that with Death Stranding. Like, it's... We don't know what the fuck's going on, but it's still a video game. You know, it'll it's be still going to happen. Be a good one, we'll see. We'll see. It should be, but we'll see. like, who, uh, but like, it's getting so much hype, and like, fucking, what's his name? That's Tojima. Making it? Tojima. He knows what he's doing. Yeah. He's done well before. Yeah. He's gonna do it again. So, either he's finally lost it, and it's gonna be a piece of shit, or yeah, like it's yeah. gonna be some weird fucked up game that people are gonna play. Like, yeah. it's it's for children. It's for adults. It's for you know, people who barely play video games as it is. Yeah. Like, whatever... Whoever you are, unless you're completely not open to anything new, there is always a video game out there yeah. for you. And I think, to help with that, the indie scene, like, a lot of mainstream games are just shooters and, like, pretty violent. Whereas, they are. Like, yeah. You can, like, get a non-gamer or someone who's not, like... Who's not in the game because they're hard or whatever. Indie games can help cover that because mm. they're, like a bunch of games where there's chill or mm. like flower you can hand flower to anyone just like hey and it's just it's motion controls mm. and it's not the greatest motion controls but it's there mm. um, and you just press X and go like, exactly that's a chill game like the different the different types alone is just it's it's a core um, or it, it's something that can draw people together so yeah. yeah as you said like you've got your indies so if you if you want to relax you've got those types of games out there or um you know, if you're if you're if you're really violent, you can you can play GTA and yeah. you can start up your own gang and kill people. Yeah. Or <coughs> if you're a singer, sing star. Yeah. If you if you're a little kid and you really love playing with your dolls, you know, there's fucking baby games out there for yeah. you. Like anything, baby simulation games. Um, Nintendo was the best. Nintendo was amazing. Dude, oh man. 
Shih Tzu. I had a Shih Tzu. It was my first dog. His name was Lucky. I don't remember mine, but Second all I know is Siberian that I just had a thought. Nintendo was the Switch. Nice. I don't know if it will sell, but get that Nintendo crowd. It could absolutely work. I don't know how you'd, you'd have to, like, There's a touch find pad. that happy medium between the like the portable switch and the TV what you could do like the way um, Let's Go does it is you use your finger for the thing or you use your Joy-Con so instead of the dog you could just like motion control oh yeah yeah there's that a couple things um, but yeah but uh, yeah that game is like very specifically designed for the DS but that's what I'm saying like yeah. you, you can have so many specifically designed games for specific audiences but they all fall under the same category of video games so you can't you can't classify video games as for children you can't but yeah. Say they're for adults. You can't say they're for, for people who can't pay attention, or you know, for idiots or yeah. for smart people. Like whatever it be, every video game is for different people. Mm. Some are similar. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But they're not all the same. Yeah. And it's, I feel like it's great. Yeah. You saying the diversity of them probably makes them a bit better than movies, like more diverse. Mm. Movies. Like yeah. w- you, in order to find like very different movies, you have to go to the indie scene for movies, yeah. which kind of the case for video games but just I think getting an indie video game is a bit easy because you just go to the store and see what's there I suppose you could do that for Netflix well I I mean you you could do that for Netflix but when you look up indie shit for that it's literally trash yeah like there is good indie stuff there are if you like and indie stuff is always drama like like, you have to be on board with dramas Mm. Um, you're not gonna get an indie action film unless it's like Mad Max yeah like Mad Max 1 I'm talking about that's like filmed for like six hundred thousand dollars which is yeah. fucking nothing yeah um yeah there's not much in terms of like that kind of stuff but yeah like diversity of games like now making a game is almost it's not necessarily easier to, to, to it than ever but it, the tools are more accessible than ever yeah like you can buy unreal engine you can buy the tools for unreal engine 4 or unity and fuck around until you release the game that's why there's so many games on the switch on the phones yeah um yeah because like more people can make games and at the end of the day that's a good thing it means more people can get into gaming there's more games to exist mm. um yeah yeah no i love i love how they can Be they happy. reach to everybody yeah and it's great it's good it helps the business yeah it mm. does Alrighty, dean I think that was a pretty fun chat. It was good. I hope the audience now knows who you are. Oh. In terms of games. I mean, yeah. Next games, week, yeah. theme anime. Wait. No. Oh. I'm trying to think of the word. Fetish. That's the word I'm looking for. My fetish? <laughs> yeah, for anime. What are you talking about? No, I'm just making oh. a joke. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to talk about fetishes and anime. They're one and the same. Sometimes. Um, <laughs> depends, depends who you are. <laughs> Alrighty, if you enjoyed this show, please click that like button and mm. subscribe. Hit you the bell know if you, you want. did. Sorry? I said you know you did. Yeah. yeah. Um check out Amalgam's Games Lab where Shannon and I talk super nerdy stuff about the video game industry. Uh-huh. Um if, uh check out Patreon at patreon.com slash amalgam show and you can mm. listen to Amalgam Archaeology where Shannon and I talk about Final Fantasy. Just three games. We got a lot more of that to cover. Um, good chat, Dean. It was a good chat. Yeah. Time yeah. for some drinkies. Absolutely. I really need to go to the toilet, though. So, until drink. next time, everyone. Catch you later. Bye. Bye.